Okay, hello. This is a quick show off and overview, sort of review of the Godbound tabletop role playing game by Kevin Crawford of Sign Nominee. So, I just recently got this delivered um, to, I ordered it from Australia. So, it took a fair while to arrive here, and the postage costs were crazy high, but hey, that's life. So this is the deluxe edition, and it's um, probably the best best quality printed RPG I've ever got from Drive Through RPG, who print their stuff with Lightning Source. So, like I said, this is the deluxe edition, which was quite expensive to get, but the paper is like really, really high quality, and you can see the print quality is very high as well. So it's kind of worth it. I mean. For, it's a role-playing game, so it's going to get a lot of use. Uh, so why not? And I'll just show you some of the art in here, which is quite nice. So, and then I'll tell you a little bit about the role-playing game. I'm just going to find. Oh, there you go. Here's a good example of a. See, look at that quality there. Pretty good, huh? So this is a role-playing game where you play demigods. Um, on a fantasy world. There's actually a set fantasy world with it um, and I guess if you're into tabletop role-playing games you might have heard of a game called Exalted which this is quite similar to in some ways but this is uh, like an OSR compatible style role-playing game meaning it's the rules are loosely based on the original Dungeons and Dragons. So here we go that's the thickness of it so it's quite thick because um, the pages themselves are actually pretty chunky and thick, which, which is good because it's going to get a lot of use. And there's yeah, 241 pages. The index is pretty good. Oh, there's all the contributors on in there somewhere. So it's a fairly decent enough index. And here's the table of contents at the front. So the New Gods Awaken section. What that all that really tells you is just like the premise for the world and all the rest of it. Uh, character creation's not that big, but I'll show you briefly. Oh, there's a nice, another nice picture there. So it gives you a really easy overview. So it gives you like a quick overview of the entire character gen, and then it goes through everything in more detail after that. So that's cool. The rules of the game, from page 16. Um, that's just is basically all, all the core rules. Uh, the divine powers, there's just a whole bunch of various divine powers and that's kind of the nuts and bolts of how all the special, what makes the, the god band better than everybody else, like all the normal sort of humans. So there's quite a few powers, I'll quickly run through them. Um, creation, which is, yeah, sort of, I guess, smitey type powers. Alacrity is like being fast. Hypothesis is a weird one, I'm not exactly sure. You can't actually choose that at the beginning. But I think it's it's where you can like build followers and all that sort of stuff. Artifice is making stuff. Beasts is like uh, you know, animals and things, controlling them and so on. Bow is being good at using bows. We'll get loads of cool powers. Command, controlling people and stuff. Death, sort of like death-like type powers. You know, like knowing about corpses and all this sort of stuff. Deception, just basically being sleazy. And so on. I, I don't actually. I won't go through every single power. I'll just read them out, and you can kind of guess. So, earth and endurance, fertility and fire, health and journeying, knowledge and luck, might and night, passion and sea, sky and sorcery, sun and sword, time and wealth. Uh, there's also a bunch of stuff on spell casting and so on as well. You can make your own words and powers and stuff as well. There's guidelines for it, but I, I won't be doing that in the beginning. Um, a gazette here of um, Arkham, which is essentially the world, and then running the world, advice on how to run the world. Foes of Heaven is like monsters and things. Treasures Beyond Price is loot. And Sixers, Secrets of Arkham, well, I actually haven't read that bit because it's a secret, no, just because I haven't got around to it. Okay, just additional stuff. But the main point of this is just to show off the deluxe edition of the book. I will do an in detail review at some stage later. It's just I haven't actually run this yet, so I need to 
um, run it a couple of times before I'm confident in reviewing it. But so far, I've, I've read it through um, pretty in detail, especially the character gen section, and uh, it looks really, really good. So, and it's got all the usual GM advice, like ruin locations and all this sort of stuff. Combats is it looks really, really quick as well, like all the sign nominee stuff, which is one of the big reasons why I um, actually run these games. So I just don't want to mess about with rules and stuff. And also all the GM advice and tables and everything. You can use this with all the other RPGs if you really wanted to. And whilst there'd be a bit of back converting, if you're going to use it with the revision and stuff, it's, it's not too hard. So that's fine. So anyway, very happy with it. It was quite pricey, um, but that's okay because it's worth it. And I am waiting for the stars of that number of revision arriving any day now, apparently in a few days from now, at which point I'll do a quick overview of that. I'm expecting the print quality to be basically the same as this. So it's certainly come a long way since the old days of the original stars of that number book. Actually, I'll just... Um, I'll show you next time when I do the stars of that number. Um, yeah, so that's it. So at some stage I'll do a review in more detail. Anyway, see ya.